Yarncast. I'm Lori. I'm Anna. And I'm Jessica. And we are coming to you from Malvern, Arkansas, the home of Arkansas Yarn Company, the home of fabulously hand-dyed yarn. Anna's been working on the um, yarn crawl chalkboard, and it's gorgeous. It's a work in progress because she's is. not happy with it. Well, it has to have some things added. But also, if you want to see it in its entirety, you must come in and say hello. Why are you talking in that voice? I love that. <laughs> you must. You, you must. must. You sound very Julia Child. This is her her advertisement voice. Oh, okay. Sorry. So come on down and observe in all its glory. In person. In what? person. At the yarn crawl. Yeah. Was the or give you some pink wine. <laughs> yes. Pink wine. Because that's a thing here. We're the all home of pink. pink wine. <laughs> Fabulously hand dyed yarn. Pink wine. By the pink three of chairs. us. Yes. Mm -hmm. The three of us are fabulously hand dyers. Yes. Yes, it's exciting. Um, do you have anything on the needles? I do. I, I mean, I do. You want to show us? <laughs> so I have made a smidgen bit of progress. Um, Love progress. I mean, you know, it's bound to happen, hopefully a little faster than I'm currently. But here is Anna, my uh, some kind of chevron thing. Boxy chevron. Boxy chevron. Anna, That's what I'm working on. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Isn't it? Yes. So, I do say so myself. <laughs> that color needs to be in stock. It does. Um, so this, I'm... Uh, you know, I don't love longer sleeves. Yeah. So I'm doing less repeats. On... Oh, are you going to do a short sleeve version? She's mm -hmm. going to make it slightly shorter. Slightly shorter, yeah. So, like, this section um, called for five repeats, and I did four. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're bringing it yeah, up. And I think yeah. I just accidentally okay. flipped the camera off. I did not mean to do that. But apparently, yeah, I use her dad that watches. as my pointer finger. Um, the finger that you point with. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, um, and then this next one is supposed to be four. three repeats. Three or four? It's three. Okay. I made four. my sleeve shorter also, which I'm kind of glad that I did. Mine is about six inch, six rows less than normal than it and calls for that wasn't strategic for me that actually was a mistake but in actuality i'm super glad that i did it and i did that in the third section mm -hmm. of that chevron stripe um i'm really glad i did it because um it would be too long i probably would because my arms are not while they're not you know like super short she's not the tallest person out there but it would have been a it would have been a point on my hand if like I had gone any like yes where does it land so far? Um, I'll you show know? you it lands about here mm -hmm. it does about the most perfect spot for it this is my sweater I've been working really hard on it yeah you're coming along I am so you're through the short rows through the short rows, I'm into the body, and this, so this is where my sleeve is ending, which is about the where most you perfect wanted it to be. spot for it, but y'all, I mean, like, I'm in love with it. It looks <laughs> good. I love it. I'm super happy with it. I'm so glad I went with this. I love the way it fits. I love where it hits. I love that this is just underneath the elbow. I love this teal color. I mean, like, I love this thing. I feel like the white speckle is really toning down the vibrancy of the pink chevrons. And I think that looks really nice. I love it. I think it's going to be super pretty. I tried Jessica's on, which is what she's wearing. And I'm slightly, con I like the way it hits me on the shoulders. So I'm super concerned that mine's gonna be tight through here. 
it, it won't. I think I'm going to block it. You're supposed to pick up stitches and knit a couple rows and then bind off the neck. So okay. if you're happy with the way that mine is, then it'll I like fit, it. It should fit the I'm same. I'm torn though because I'm sort of thinking that I might bind off I might do that section in this turquoise. I don't know. No, no. You want it to be the same color as the pink. You have a boat? <laughs> What's your I idea? Mean, I don't they won't be able to see it. I don't know. No. It's I would do it in the pink. But I'm kind yeah. of probably going to do it in the pink, but I love it. It's the, and after you, I mean, it's a pleasurable knit. It's not an uncomfortable knit. You don't have to pay attention, attention. It has been, it's been potato chippy in this body section for sure. Yeah. Once you get past the short rows, um, to shape the, the shoulders, um, once you pick up the body, it's mm -hmm. just really very quick knitting. Um, yes. plain knitting in the round which yes. is fun I think so too um, I'm enjoying it do you have anything else that you're working on um, I am working on this exclusively I do have something else on my needles though I'll show you I have had slight amount of work on it at the beach <laughs> Sorry, Anna. <laughs> it's a big bag. It is a big bag. For a big project. It is a big project, too. So, I do have... Uh, I thought I was going to be in the middle. I am in the middle of a row. Okay. But I have been working on my chevron blanket. I'm almost to the point where I'm getting ready to fade and feather in my next color, which is the May colorway. So I'm almost done with this uh, wedding cake and I'm gonna start doing that next. So as soon as I finish this row, that's what my, oh, what I'm doing is I just started my um, uh, graphite chevron. The medium gray. And I think I'm doing, I think I'm gonna do two, two chevrons down here, up here. So I'm. that's where I'm at is I just, Cast that I just put that in so I'll do a couple of row I'll do one row of this one row of white or two rows of white and another uh, chevron and, and the uh, graphite and then some white and then I'll fade it into my white pink, pink. Yeah. and I am in love with it is that cherry blossoms is that cherry blossoms is next yeah okay it's so pretty join us in the um it's called hashtag the chevron your itch join us in this make along the criteria is it has to be a blanket and it has to be a chevron that's the criteria and so we would love it if y'all would join us in this it's a year-long make along so you don't even have to work on it um and then we we're going to be drawing for prizes i'm doing this as a make along with um lindsay at always yarn first and we would love it if y'all would join us because it's so much fun we're enjoying mm -hmm. oh, sorry. come play with us yes come play with us <laughs> now it doesn't have to be a full-size blanket no it doesn't it can be a baby blanket it mine actually is going to be a throw mine's going to be a throw so i'm a couch blanket yours is going to be a sizable throw. mine it is but it's not um, it's not overly wide, but you it know, is going to have some length to it. And I'm doing five inches on each of my Sock Yarn Society color. And then I'm, it's going to have about three inches mm -hmm. of the other two colors. Uh, you know, Charlotte, I'm really enjoying the way that Charlotte's is turning out. She's doing the Northeasterly blanket and each column is one color. I know. Is one month's color. So she moves from call, she moves down the line. Um, instead of staggering it. I'm thinking about doing that, the Northeasterly blanket from Skinanigans, um, with, uh, she had, that's her pattern. I think I might do that with my Yarnable. That but I think fun. I'm gonna do it in chunks of color, just to use up my, I have a bunch of the Yarnable um, yarn, so that would be kind of fun to 
to use that up that way. It does seem to be a really nice scrappy blanket. So, so good. The Northeastern. I love the way it looks. It's really pretty. I keep wanting to do, um, what is that? The 10 stitch square. That looks really fun too, I Anna. started one, but I started it on a size zero and then I said, this is BS. Why would you do that? Is, right? Is that the mitered squares? Did it call um, for a zero? No, I I just went with that because I was on crack. losing my mind, apparently. I, I tell Anna all the time, stay off crack. Yeah. And yarn, you can be on yarn all day long, <laughs> but not crack. But I'll tell you, that was that zero? size zero needle was the one that when I got into my father-in-law's truck and slid over, I discovered that needle it had stabbed you in my tuchus, mm -hmm. Your and um, I had to quietly, discreetly pull that out of my tuchus. That should be a good <laughs> indicator that you should admit with zeros. I, I think I pretty much did not really continue on. After. I bet that was sore too. It wasn't like, I mean, because I've got a lot of you know, uh, padding. Flesh. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, know, Anna, that sounds awful. It, you know, I'm sure that was not comfortable. I've, no. I've had worse shots. <laughs> <laughs> like the one on my toe. <laughs> that did not have the numbing spray. Oh. Anyway, we'll People. not get into that again. People loved your story last time. <laughs> they absolutely loved your story. <laughs> I think that you painted such a picture of a porn star doctor, <laughs> back <in> alley office, <laughs> flickering lights. I uh, had I had the totally nurse climbing on top of you. That I mean, was that was like when I really knew this was a bad idea. You know, and it was too late. That's we, sketchy. We were, we were talking about it while you were on vacation. And the, the one thought that kept coming to my mind after we recorded that podcast was, I feel like from the moment you walked into that office, it should have been no, you should have like noped right on out of there. <laughs> right? Yeah, yes. I agree with that. Like with like, all the anxieties that you have, <laughs> I, I feel like you would have been like, yeah, no, I'm out. Right? I know. And I was surprised. <laughs> But what gets me is like all I can picture is like this, um, this gold shirt with this big lapel collar, mm -hmm. and it's peeled back, and there's this big wad of this <laughs> nasty chest hair everywhere, and then there's this gold chain that was you know where the hair was shaved so it would lay nicely, well, and then the the music is like. Bounce chicka bow bow, <laughs> hold her down. Bounce chicka bow bow, <laughs> give me the tweezers. Bounce chicka. I mean, that's all I could hear about it. So, it's like so that music. Was I inadvertently like in a a dirty video? <laughs> you were in. Like, should well, I be? Maybe it was called <laughs> probably not toe jam. <laughs> It was like a toe fetish video. I'm, I'm not worried that there were like hidden cameras and that I may have been a part of. They, although I've never been recognized. So. <laughs> no, one, no one has stopped you and asked for, can I have your autograph? I saw you in toe jam. I can, 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 I, can I get a picture with your feet? Oh my gosh. Your feet are so hot. That doctor, when he removed that ingrown toenail, Ooh, oh my baby. god, yes, <laughs> I don't know, That's that was like some shady stuff. That was so shady. And I mean, I'm like, I'm surprised they didn't also cop a little of your liver. <laughs> I mean, right? like, just a little. You don't need this. Or pay you for coming in. Right? Yeah. <laughs> But, but when know, the little nurse, and then I have this vision of this nurse being this tall, she's, scrambling up on that bed to hold her down. So she was probably like 5'3", but she was just so really skinny. But and not me. So, <laughs> so, like, not even in my 
lender dating. So was she in scrubs or was she in like proper nursing attire? I feel like she, if I'm remembering correctly, which it was kind of dark in <laughs> her room, so you know. Was there Maggie asked if there was like this flickering light in the background? <laughs> which I had totally like forgotten about that part. Yes, there was flickering, but seriously, and you you're not like nope. But they didn't have. I swear they didn't have any lights on in the front like lobby. Like, it I feel seemed, all of this needs air quotes. It seemed deserted when you got there? Doctor, you know, nurse, operating room. <laughs> Anna, I'm surprised you went with that. I know. I am too. <sighs> Seriously, but that was like, it's, that's some creepy. I feel like, though, should we read, should we read Miss Yes. Maggie's? Okay, here is Miss Maggie's sketchy doctor story. Once my aunt took me to Indian Health Services Hospital because my cousin and I were both sick and we walked into the exam room and there was blood everywhere like someone was actually shot at in the room. I was about 12 and it left a huge impression on me especially the way my aunt hustled us out of the room and then took the entire staff to task about the blood being everywhere. It was pretty much a Stephen King novel. That was also the trip where my cousin's coyote puppy bit me. So you can say I've been bitten by a wolf. I would say it. Sort of. <laughs> Could be why I'm weird. And wow. so I made a note here for myself. Maggie, you are the best kind of weird, and your adventures are a joy to read. She literally wrote out every word that Maggie typed on the <laughs> comment section of our podcast. And Maggie, she has a she. She's your sister. She's your soul sister because she will tell a story the way you did, like that time. Her dog dug up that chicken out of her backyard. I'm telling you, I was laughing so hard. Scott actually was upstairs in the loft, and he hollers down at me, what are you laughing at? Oh my and I had to read him the entire story because it was so darn funny. Ooh, that's also me when I'm listening to that one podcast that I love. In public, even. I'll start. You'll just burst up laughing. What are you listening laughing to? Laughing so hard. It's the, um, my favorite murder. My favorite murder, but it's the mini sodes. They have the regular episode and then the mini sode, which is where their viewers will write in about well, pretty much anything. They used to say, "Oh, send us your stories about you know blah blah," but it's pretty much it's open open season on the on the stories. Yeah. And they get so funny. There there was one, I was in public. I should not listen to it in public, but I do. She was in the coffee shop. Yeah, and I just, I mean, I was in tears. And I think, uh, yeah, one of them was wondering if I was having an emotional breakdown. I'm like, no, sorry. Oh, which reminds me, aren't we supposed to give a shout out? We're supposed to give a shout out to Josiah. Which I'm are fairly certain Josiah is not watching a knitting podcast. No, I doubt it, but I'll let him know anyway. Well, yeah. you know, at 18, <laughs> at 18 minutes, go ahead and start listening, Josiah. Well, 18 you know, minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, Addison, is it Addison, we told Addison about the podcast mm -hmm. and she doesn't get her anything. Um, and she immediately went onto YouTube and subscribed to our YouTube channel, so she might actually start watching. That's awesome! So That's she so could sweet. always tell Josiah that um, <laughs> we gave him a shout out. That's awesome. Yeah. And also, while we're shouting them out, Ma Mason, Stephen, <laughs> who she calls Nathan, we need that pink drink. I mean, it's fairly and necessary. At least, if not the pink drink, can we at least have the orange drink? I thought they were going to make you a sandwich. They're going to make us a sandwich for the yarn crawl. 
We're going to have the Arkansas Yarn Co. sandwich. How awesome is that? That's pretty cool. But, I mean, we do still have needs for that like, beverage. That drink, that <laughs> orange. Y'all, it's like an orange creamsicle. And it is so, so freaking delicious. It, like... We would eat, we would drink it every single day. It's so Which good. we did for a little while. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that's why my butt is this size. It was so good. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Yes. And we would send so many people down there and we would say, ask for the Arkansas Yarn Co. signature drink. And I know that Mason would go. <laughs> I'm, fairly, I'm fairly certain he did that. Um, do you want to show us what you have on your needles, Missy? Sure, I would love to. So I am currently working on my rocket tee. That's what I'm knitting on while we are sitting here. Um, give me a moment while I untangle my yarn. Okay, so her rocket tee is absolutely gorgeous. And she is using our slub base. And our mohair base. And our mohair base. In our color seaweed so pretty um, but it's coming along I'm really close to being finished I have one of these already that I made um, and I counted the number of solid stripes on it after the underarm um, because I kind of like the length that that one is and so I need eight of these solid stripes and then one extra of the mohair so I'm currently working on solid stripe number seven um, but you also are making this a small, a size smaller, right? I am, but the length will still be the same. Um, so I'm working on that currently. I think it's super beautiful in the slub yarn. I think it's really pretty. I like the texture that it we, gives. We call that our pearl base and, um, it's really pretty. And I don't know if y'all know this or not, but we are an exclusive wholesale. Uh, we, ex we exclusively carry dragon horde yarn um her slub base it's well we we are not i don't think we're her only wholesaler but we are the no, only we're, that has that yeah we are the only store that yes. carries her slub base other than tristan yes so it is and it's just as beautiful as ours her colors are gorgeous Very. they're different from ours um, which is fine and so i did also make since it's been three weeks um, since we last podcasted, um, I did make a little bit of progress on my chevron blanket. Um, I'm crocheting this. Um, it's a single crochet stitch with a Aztec pattern thrown, a striped Aztec pattern thrown in, in between the colors. Um, so I did make some progress on it. Um, not it's a pretty. whole lot. I think I did like six rows. It's um, pretty though. But I did cast on a couple of new things. Hey, are you knitting your daddy a pair of socks for Father's Day? No. Oh. Are you? He's not my father. <laughs> <laughs> He's my husband. Um. Uh, so I don't have any needles on this because I'm work currently working on three projects that use my size five needles. Um, so, got to get this situated. Sorry I'm yawning. It's been a long day. I did hair all day. Um, get that string out of the way. Okay. So, um, I am working on a knit-along. Um, it's a summer knits knit-along. Um. With who? Uh, with Dragon Horde. Um, but I think it's just her Discord that's doing it. I don't think she's hosting it on Instagram. Okay. Um, but it's a Summer Knits Knit Along. So I am making the... Is it the So Summer shorts? Was it So Summer? <gasps> You're making shorts? Or I'm making shorts. What? So I had just enough yarn. Because I was originally going to make the Rocket Tee... When I made the first one, we dyed up a second colorway for me to make a second one um, in fall colors because the first one is nice and bright and springy and I wanted another one for the fall. Um, and we dyed this seaweed color on the yummy plush base and the mohair. Um, 
well, when I decided to make the second rocket tea out of the slub, I still had two skeins of this, of this yummy plush. And that's just enough yarn for me to make myself a little pair of shorts. Um, it's by Jessie Maid, um, and I believe it's called the Sew Summer Shorts. Uh, I'm going to double check on my Knit Companion app. Yes, Sew Summer Shorts by Jesse Maid. Um, and there I'll have all like all the patterns that we're working on. I'll have Lucas post the picture up on the screen, but it's wow. a cute little pair of show show flouncy. everyone because those are he's gonna put it up on the okay. screen. Y'all they're really cute. They're so cute. They are. They're nice and flowy and loose and they've got an I cord um tie on them. I kind of want those. Is um, that hard to make? No. Um, you start with a provisional cast on um, and you knit a little ways. Um, and then oh, you look at you already do have your drawstring. So she actually has you when you do um, the combination, or the combining row of the provisional cast on um, the hem, um, she has you knit, uh, knit the hem around the I cord. So it actually uh, encloses it and you don't have to feed it through. Oh. Which is nifty. Um, so I decided I wanted my ties to contrast. So I did these nice bright orange ties, which are, uh, it's our opening day colorway. And then this green, this gray green is our seaweed color. Mm -hmm. um, so I think these are going to be a really cute little pair of lounging shorts for the house. Um, and so I'm excited to be working on those, but I haven't worked on them for the last week or so because I've been working really hard on my rocket tee to get it finished. Um, and then the other thing that I casted on while you were gone, which you've seen, um, is my wedding shawl. So this is the so don't, pretty. this is the don't panic pattern, um, from Nim Teasdale. Um, and I'll have the full picture up on the screen. Um, but I, I waited to cast this on until we got in the 0.8 millimeter mm -hmm. beetle needle. It's still too big for these beads. So it was splitting the yarn when I was trying to pull it through the the uh it's super pretty the bead um but the the bead so i've been using uh like a heavy duty embroidery thread um and i put a little bit of glue on the ends so that uh the ends are stiff so that i can feed them through mm -hmm. the end the the bead easier um but look at the sparkle on my beads it's so beautiful there's just a few beads on it so it's not like heavily beaded or anything um, it's just going to add the tiniest little bit of shimmer mm -hmm. to this shawl. But it's coming along so far. I made it through the first uh, lace chart before I stopped. And again, I'm using my size 5 needles on this. So I've just got my uh, end stoppers on here. How much yarn does that call for? Uh, there's a range because you can stop it at different points, but it's about a about 1200 yards for the full mm -hmm. si for, for the full size which I should have just enough yarn to make the full size yeah which I like a I like a nice big shawl so mm -hmm. I'm totally okay with it being massive mm -hmm. it's gonna be beautiful it will your um, boxy chevron is super beautiful on you so I have a finished object so gorgeous I have a finished object too so I finished my boxy chevron while it looks they so were on good. vacation. Um, I love this, the bottom. I wasn't going to do that. I'm so so it's got do the, it. uh, the chevron ribbing on it. Um, and it's a high-low, so there's a little bit of short row shaping for the back to make it longer. And then it's a little bit shorter in the front. It's so pretty, Jessica. And it is boxy. It ended up not being the size that I was doing, but I didn't do a gauge swatch. So it's not quite as boxy as was intended, but it's still a little boxy. 
I like it. But I I'm, think it turned out really nice. I I'm love my colors. I'm very nervous that mine's going to be too small now. I don't think it will be. After trying yours on, I love the way it fits. I'm now I think I'm mine scared. fits the way that yours is supposed to. Hope so. Um, but the other thing was, um, oh, I was going to tell them about when you came back from vacation. What about it? So the day you came back from vacation, you wa you were busy all day doing hair. All day. All day doing hair. And you walked up front and you pulled out your sweater and said, look at how much I've gotten done. I was so proud of myself because I was trying hard to beat Jessica. I'm getting and have so mine done. close. You, were, you said you were getting so close and that you thought that you had caught up to me. Yeah. And you asked actually, to see mine. I was actually hoping that she was still working on it and hadn't worked on it and that I would be close or beyond it. And so then you asked to see mine and I told you to turn around and look mm -hmm. on the mannequin behind me. And you. I did this. <laughs> what? Because it was sitting on the mannequin here in the shop. Y'all, I'm not kidding. I was about this close to laying on the floor and doing this. <laughs> I was like, gonna throw a temper tantrum. I was like, I've been working so hard <laughs> to beat you, and you're already done. I was, oh. that's, what you, that's what you get for leaving me at your house all by myself for like 10 days. You weren't days. by yourself. You were with your sister. Okay. And I pay you to babysit your yeah. sister. <laughs> well, you give me all of that free knitting time at your house. I do. Which you also had a lot of free knitting time. I did. You got a lot of done. Did y'all see how much I had done? <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you again. A lot. Right now, I have a half sweater. It, like, I, I totally have a belly sweater. I think Anna's is going to take the cake, though, at the crawl. Her, as the most gorgeous? As the shortest. <laughs> Yeah. The the rate that she's been working, she'll have nice long sleeves <laughs> that are connected by like a round of knitting. Yeah. If that's what I have, that's what then I'm wearing. That's what she's taking a picture in. That's right. We'll put that thing on Barbara Quartz, won't we? Yes. I, actually, I will bind off. She will bind will off and bind then I'll off. make her bind off. <laughs> and then I will bind back on eventually. But it eventually, is, it is going to be a finished. Your sweater is going to be probably one of the more stunning ones because yes, the well, colorway is is absolutely exquisite. Mm -hmm. If I say so myself, I dyed it. Although let's see, it's who's, gorgeous. Who's do we have like it, as the front runner currently? Is mine. It, no. Is it, isn't it Andrea's? I'm teasing. Andrea's uh, is Jessica beautiful. and I both really, really, really love Andrea's. Hers is gorgeous and it's out of Hedgehog and Teeny Button. And it is beautiful. Oh, and my sweater is out of Sinful Yarns. The red yes. is red wine and the gray with burgundy speckles is uh, gray rose. Yes. And it Teeny Button, we have sweaters quantities. We do. We do. On our mm. sale rack. Mm hmm On our sale rack? No. That's wrong. Teeny button is not on the sale rack. It better not Sinful. be. Sinful yarn. Oh. That's what we meant. Yeah. Yes. That's, yeah. Sinful. I mean, I think you said it at first. Well, Andrea is doing hers out of Hedgehog, not Teeny Button. Hedgehog is also on our sale rack. Hedgehog is on the sale rack. Y'all uh, want some awesome yarn? Go to the link in our web on our website. Click on what's on sale. Is that what it's called? I'll link it in the description below. The I'm sale telling page. you this. There's some sweet. There's deals. some good stuff in there. <laughs> I can't even believe they put stuff in there while I was gone. The only reason that the stuff is on sale is because we needed to make room for other new yarn that you brought in. I have a new dyer that's coming. She should be here at the end of the month. And I'm super, super excited about it. And as y'all know, I'm going for big name people. And um, like Hugh Loco, we have Hugh Loco. Mm -hmm. I, when I first started dyeing yarn, I was like so amazed by her and her dyeing videos and her yarn. And I was just like, I want to be like that. I want to be like that. 
Her yarn is gorgeous. So we carry it now. I have the blue. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. So there's that. Do so, you have any finished objects? I do. Well, that's good. I finished something. Uh, I finished something. I started it at the beach. It's a test knit. So y'all know that, um, you know that Kathleen Fuller is, uh, has written a book about, and she used our store as the inspiration. And it's called Hooked on You by Kathleen Fuller. She's a best-selling author. And then she had a second book in the series, and it was called Much Ado About a Latte, which is about a coffee shop, which happens to bookend our block. And then she wrote a new book that's Coming out being August. released August 2nd. And every single time we have Cheryl from Hypnotic Yarn, uh, uh, designs a pattern so the first book had a hat the second book had a cowl and the third book has a plant pot sweater and I did the test knit for it so the, the book always has two patterns one knit and one crochet yes the knit the knit designer is always share has always been Cheryl Ham and From hypnotic the, yarn and the crochet designer is uh, Tamara Kelly from the Moogly blog and she does a beautiful job crocheting and so the patterns are practically identical in uh, design for the knit and the crochet um, and so this and all three of the patterns the, de the design is the same on all three of the patterns but y'all this is the yarn and the book cover when you see the book cover, it's pink and white. And and the characters and the guys wearing this teal shirt and these um, mustard color pants and those speckles are in here. You can't see it um, right now, but they're in there. And uh, she's wearing a gray dress and I'm so in love with this. So it's- Now I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I changed my part of the design so I did a two by two twisted rib because I love the way a twisted rib looks but look how pretty the it looks on the lip so it's a uh, six inch pot and my pot powder. is five yeah and my pot is five so mine is a tad bit big but y'all I am like so in love with this thing this plant looks pretty shabby. It's from Ikea, but let's see if we can, there you go. It's so pretty. I'm super proud of it. I'm, it looks good. It looks so good. Look at, look at it with the yarn, with the walls. <laughs> it's so pretty. I, I don't know. It's gorgeous. I'm in love with it. I will definitely be doing that. And guess what? Kathleen Kelly is, uh, Kathleen Fuller. Kathleen Kelly is from, um, You've got mail, and she owns the little the little shop on the corner. But Kathleen Fuller is going to be here August twentieth doing a book signing, and sixth. Oh, August sixth. I'm sorry. Yes, August sixth, and she's doing a book signing, and we are going to be selling. And for the first time ever, we will have fingering weight yarn and DK weight yarn. That's we have had so many people ask us. This pattern was done in a fingering weight so yarn. So the, the knit pattern is created in fingering Great. weight, whereas the uh, crochet pattern is created DK. in DK. So we will have both. And we have had, since day one, we have had people asking, are you going to do this in fingering weight? And for the first time ever, we're doing it in fingering weight. So I'm super excited about that. And it's beautiful in both. It is beautiful in both. Both patterns are stunning. Absolutely stunning. We are so blessed to uh, be a part of this. This this is a super cool thing for us. So that's my finished object. Mm -hmm. Well, that's fun. Yes. Did you get anything while you were on vacation? I did. Well, that's fun. So fun. Because my friend Valerie, who um, it was her first year at the beach, she is a quilter. And she made me this little bitty bag 
Isn't that the cutest? And it's quilted. It's and cute. I love, I love dragonflies. So it has a matching zipper, double zipper. And there's a baby one. <laughs> Look at it. And at first I was like, is there another one? Is there a baby <laughs> one? But there wasn't. But look, look at her bags. I love these little gussets on the side. They're so cute. And they open giant. Yeah. So I'm thinking of using this little one to hold all of my little progress keeper collection. Aww. Because well, Anna, be good. Anna has them all in a little tin. And I'm jealous that she has them all in one spot. So I'm kind of thinking about putting them in and then maybe rifling through to find what I want. But this one also, oh, I have my sunglasses in here. Mm -hmm. These are these are the ones I wore to the beach. These are your new ones. These are, yeah, look how glamorous they are. Ooh, let me, let's do it like this. Those are massive. definitely going to shield yes. your eyes. <laughs> that way, this part of my face stays white. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I can put bronzer on the rest. Oh, you know but, what that makes me think of? Those tanning machine glasses yeah. that they only cover just your eyes. Yeah, this little... Then people like yes. come out of that machine looking like raccoons. Look yeah. how giant this is inside. <laughs> I love this so much. That's neat. Does this she is have like a shop? she doesn't. This was just pure pleasure. Oh. She does say it's just pure pleasure, oh. but oh. <laughs> look how cute it is. So oh. that's what I have. But I also got something else. Yeah. What? What? Well, now I can't go order one, and I'm feeling a little sad. I know. Are, are you feeling a little handsy? <laughs> I got that. I want that. I love this. I mean, it's so beautiful. She, her skills are mad. I'm telling you, hmm. it's gorgeous. I know. Hmm. And then, while I was gone, Anna ordered some presents, and I got one. She also ordered some presents that I didn't get. Because <laughs> apparently, I don't know what it is. She wouldn't get it. I'm not worthy. That's not her area of hip. <laughs> Do I have an area of hip? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's some little, it's some alien thing. I, I think. told you! <laughs> <laughs> I told you she'd call it an alien. <laughs> it looks like an alien. I don't know. Um... We carry this brand in our store, Pretty Warm Designs. Anna got me a wine bottle and a wine glass <laughs> pin, and I love every single thing about it. It's so cool. And the bottle has this little pink heart, and I love it. Which I hadn't noticed that until I was holding it in my hand. And then it, there's also these little leaves. We'll take pictures, but there's these little fall leaves on the leaf and it's so pretty and then I also have the other one on your knitting and it matched my knitting with pink and green and it it matched my knitting so I have it on here and it's super pretty and then I have this didn't come with hers and then Anna made me this crystal and y'all this crystal is wrapped in pink wire and it's so beautiful and because I got this I didn't get this <laughs> because I don't even know what this is it's but adorable. I do know that Jessica didn't get one of these so I'm feeling vindicated <laughs> sorry sis oh well, she's working on one for me mm -hmm. so so that's what I got those are my things. I'm gonna put this in my little. I'm gonna put this in my little bag. So I also received a pen and two little leaf feather stitch markers. Um, Look how good they fit in there. From Anna. She's so sweet. Thank you, Anna. Mm -hmm. And I got. It's a little top heavy. Um, let's see if I can stabilize them. This little llama or alpaca so cute. pen. Um, and then 
this little leaf flower stitch marker. Wait, it's a flower? Oh, you, it says a feather. butterfly. Little leaf Doing a tray. feather. <laughs> um, and then this little leaf feather stitch marker. That's pretty. Um, I haven't seen yours. That green is gorgeous. It looks like you. Mm -hmm. um, and then, as y'all know, I we have recruited some of our local knitting friends to help us knit these little jar covers, um, which are called Fairies Firelight. When you have a knitting covers. tribe in your life, you get things like this. And so I remembered to bring my mason jars to the shop. Um, we have had to alter the pattern slightly um, for the individuals helping us make these. Um, we're having to do two full repeats and a partial for the short jars. Um, and we're having to do three full repeats and a partial for the large jars. But these are my centerpiece jars for the wedding. Oh, and y'all, when we put the fairy lights inside, it is going. It is going to be stunning. They'll be pretty when the lights are. And it matches on. her wedding shawl, mm -hmm. which she ended up dyeing the yarn for herself. So I I'm did. super happy for you. Um, speaking of dyeing yarn for ourselves, um, Anna and I finally talked my mom into letting us have our own little dye group, um, and we dyed our first colorways Your while own she was on group? vacation. Or your own dye brand? Dye team. Oh, so... It's a brand. Our or a dye team. label. Yeah. Yes. We, we so have a dye label. We'll have to have Lucas put the lo your logo yes. in so that you can see it. But it's called Arkansas Yarn Co. The Darker Side of Pretty. I love it. I think it's so fun. And I am ordering them their own belly bands to go on the yarn so mm -hmm. um so yes so eventually we'll have our own be belly bands to put yes. on the yarn to differentiate our dyes from your dyes i'm so proud of them and did y'all see the yarn that they dyed hello beaches <laughs> i'm telling you i'm like so y'all have no idea how excited i am that they dyed yarn it literally looked like yarn i dyed except for the you Except know, for what? The tan. Mm -hmm. Oh. It had brown on it. There was one. It's called We Have Morals. Well, other than that, because the Hello Beaches has tan on it, too. I know. I let that one slide. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it's beautiful. The yarn they dyed was gorgeous. I'm super proud. I feel like my baby birds are flying. I'm super proud of it. So Anna and I will be doing a color of the month. Um, it will only be available for that month. Yes. Um, and then I think at the end of the year, every year, we're going to do a mini set of all of the colors we dyed. You know what would be fun, but would this be a giveaway? If we put out three possible names for the next month's colorway, <laughs> and then see what people would oh. vote let the people choose the name and we'll give them one do we have them twisted you can't just give away my yarn our yarn it's our yarn who pays for it <laughs> i the do shop which ultimately <laughs> is charged to me <laughs> so um can do we want to do that I, th I love the idea of people naming it well, or choosing the name. We have been going back and forth. We know what color it's going to be because we dyed it at the yeah. same time as we dyed June's. Um, but we have been... Anna has decided <laughs> that she wants it to be a certain color. Um, well, it is a certain color. Well, it's, it's a very kind of corally color mm -hmm. and it's got some speckles on it um, and it's a tonal um, and Anna has come up with three colorway names um, one of which 
I feel like people are not going to be, it's not going to make people want to buy it. <laughs> I don't think so either. Um, but we've had several people tell us, um, one person associated with the yarn store and a few people not associated with the yarn store or yarn in any way agree that the one that Anna wants um, now I don't think is fun. Not going to say which one I want because people have to definitely okay so was that the third one yes okay was there a fourth one no i just didn't think it was that oh what did you think it was well no i can't remember but okay. i didn't think it was that it sounded like a phrase but that doesn't sound like a phrase so okay shall i just throw them out there yeah, yes, but show. don't do them in order. Okay. So, there is Feeling Crabby. Okay. There is Crustacean in Love. And there is Feeling Crusty. Crusty? So, tell us in the comments below which one you like the most <laughs> and that's what we'll go with yes. for july's them. colorway <laughs> no yeah. and then nope yes so nope. um that those are the options they're all there fantastic. there's always another option <laughs> there should be if y'all have another option you should say it you you should just vote on the ones that are open the choices because <laughs> um because y'all have no idea how much pleasure it gives anna when uh her name wins mm -hmm. so, no idea um she's yeah. practically you can't even live with her her head is so big well so um <laughs> so yes please uh vote on that um, now back to our regularly scheduled uh, events. Um, oh, our <laughs> acquisitions. I have not done my acquisitions. So um, while I was hustling around tidying things before Lori got back, um, I found a bag in the office that um, uh, it jingled. And so I suggested to Jessa that she tell me about it. <laughs> Says the person who already knew about it. Okay, so. Because it was a gift to someone. <laughs> months ago. Christmas. <laughs> that I ended up buying her two things because her birthday is very close to Christmas. So I bought yes. them at the same time. And I told her to reach into said bag mm -hmm. and pull one out. And that would be her birthday gift. And then she yeah. left that bag in the office. So because I thought that I could trust somebody. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like there's like a lot of undercurrent going on, don't y'all think? I I feel like And so somebody it's may, not enough wine for this. <laughs> somebody may have peeked at their Christmas present before Christmas and then did not receive it at Christmas. <laughs> I mean that doesn't sound nice. It's just, oh, there that thing went, landed on my glasses. Uh, <laughs> We've got another gnat. <laughs> we always have a gnat. It, it was on a wine glass earlier because apparently it hadn't had enough wine yet. It wasn't in it, though. No. It was oh. on the outside of it. <laughs> at the bottom. So, anywho, um, it's, it's hobbity. It is. It's Lord, Lord, of, the Lord of the Rings themed uh, stitch marker bracelet. Hey, you'll get a picture of it. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then I have on here the little wrapped I stone love that. That I made for a moi. That'll also get a picture. Ooh. Ooh. You got it. You always <laughs> snap in them. Um, I love how you made one for you and me. Mm-hmm. But not her. That's because of the thing. Of the alien? Mm hmm The buggy eyes? Mm-hmm. Yes. Whatever it and is. And then I also got for just myself a little, um, what is that, a moth? 
butterfly. It kind of looks which I'm a doodle. But I think it's a butterfly. It has it has a bow, which you really can't see because you can't even see this. Um, there will be a picture. We'll get a picture. And then I also had, so this was a set, and I mm -hmm. had Jessa pick two um, leaves, and then the other two went to Lori, and then I had a leaf. Mine has ginkgo leaves on it, but we figured that would be your um, That's pretty. Least, favorite. least favorite option. Well, they're brown. Yeah, but I really, I really like ginkgo leaves. Um, and then I got a little tree, and then oh, this I, tree is super pretty. I added to my little bag buttons, and then I had another one, but when I was lifting up my bag the other day, it got caught on a piece of furniture, and it sheared right off. What? Ooh. Yeah. That's unfortunate. It is. I was a little bit oh, sad. Maybe we need to see if we can glue one, like with JB Weld, a post back on it for you. Hmm. Maybe we can fix it. Who knows? But we can give it to Scott. Yeah. I think I still have everything that. Are like, you gonna show them the alien? Well, Jess already showed hers, I think. But we're. Well, it was on a knit project. I didn't oh. take it all. Okay. Well, yeah. He's so cute. This is what I didn't get, y'all. It's a little uh, Koopy Kobe uh, from Bob's Burgers. Koopy Kobe. I love him. And then, since that kind of showed up, maybe I'll try this one. Uh, less so, but uh, it's cute. Trust me. They're so cute. Oh, and then the other thing I acquired. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> did you see those nails? So, um... Just They're very Canadian. Me some special Canadian nails. Yes. So Color Street, um, this past year, um, or was it? Yeah, it was this. It was last fall. Uh, Color Street um, was uh, able to start selling in Canada. Mm -hmm. um, so they expanded to Canada, and um, I guess Canada Day is coming up. Um, and so Color Street, um, decided to, um, come out with a set for Canada Day, and I showed it to Anna, and Anna was like, I need all of them, order me all of them, yeah. and so that's what I did. <laughs> and then she immediately put them on when they got here. That's sweet. My nails were not, like, super long enough for that, but... I made it work. I mean, you can still see it. Mm -hmm. The little, the little maple leaves. I like it. I, I think they're pretty. It. I think they're cute. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. They're very Canada Day. They are. They made me smile, so I'm wearing them. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing them for the rest of my life. <laughs> or well, as, as long more. as they last, <laughs> right? Or as long as they last, right? Yeah. Um. We started working on the box for the Sock Hair Society mm -hmm. at y'all. This the, this next box is gorgeous. It will not be holiday themed. It's never going to be holiday themed. We don't really do holiday we don't theming. Do like I don't want you to have a designated holiday. No, I want the they yarn to pass off. <laughs> like, they have leaning. But yeah, but I want it to look like if you use it in September, it's a September yarn and not 4th of July or uh, St. Patty's Day or I don't want, I want it to be I mean, we a year-round yarn. St. Patty's thing. It was, mm -hmm. it was, but for the most part, I don't want it, I don't want it to appear I, as a holiday. We don't want Loved it to be that solely. Box. That box was awesome. It was a yes. good box. Well, because the Macron. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, that was awesome. It was pretty. Mm -hmm. I loved the May box because I liked the, um, the Tuft Woolen's Wildflower hand balm. But this box? So, 
Anna and I have been those... manufacturing things for it, mm-hmm. and we are in love. So those of you uh, who order the Soft Yarn Society subscription um, should already have received your June boxes. Yep. Um, and we are already in the works of putting together the July box. Um, and we are planning for the August and September boxes already. So we are getting really excited about the things that are coming up for the Sock Yarn Society. (laughs) I'm just going to say this because I'm humble, but it's freaking amazing. So this one is hard to like not do a spoiler on. I know, I know, I know, I know. So I will say, um, since the podcast will probably be coming out on Saturday... Um, and we probably won't be dyeing yarn for July's box until next week. Um, the Sock Yarn Society subscription is currently open. Yeah, but we're not leaving it open for long. No. By the time we're ready to dye the yarn, it will be closed. Yes. But if you are interested, you've been seeing everything that people have been posting from all of their Sock Yarn Societies. The box is currently open for July's subscription. So good, y'all. We're like, Jessica likes to say this. You're going to break your arm patting yourself on the back. Yes, ma'am, I am. Mm. Right, Anna? Worth it. We, (laughs) right? (laughs) I'm telling you, we manufactured something that's so freaking amazing. Mm -hmm. We're going to carry it in the store from, from now on. But it will not be available until, until after, after you after get until received. after you get your box, because I'm gonna tell you this: you're gonna reorder that. Yeah, a there's, lot of it. We need to few, make it in. We need to make it in bigger. We need to make few, it bigger. There's a few things yeah. that yeah. we will be carrying from this yes. box in the store after mm-hmm. the box is yes. sent. So it's that amazing. I'm I'm like super excited about it. And then the next box. It'll be fun. We got the stuff for the next box. <laughs> it's so hard not to tell y'all all the things because we're so excited about yeah, it. Yeah, we are. Like, it's hard to keep a secret when it's exciting. And it's such a secret, too, because we don't want to spoil it for you, but... But, yeah, we do. But we're we going to zip like, it. We're going to zip yeah, it. Yeah, we're going to zip it, but it's... <laughs> oh, my gosh. But it hurts. Uh, let it me hurts tell you this. I would be so disappointed if we didn't keep one for ourselves mm-hmm. every month. So we were because kind of discussing they're that, good. that, and we were like, oh, we might not get some of this because of quantities available. I was like, all I know is I have to get this item. <laughs> she did. She did. She's like, I'm gonna. Ha- I'm having that. We're like, I don't yes, care if ma'am. someone gets shorted. No, I, I would. I would care. I would. Well, we. The fact I ordered we're... more things. <laughs> yeah. I ordered more supplies so that we could make more. Because, in fact, we needed to make more. We did need to make more. Um, we're ad- as addicted to them. As y'all are. So much so, I just... Like, my life would be table. super sad mm-hmm. if we didn't... If we weren't getting it, too. Right. We we each take one. Um, I always take the sparkle base. Anna, do you change your... Do you change your base? Mine has been plush. Mine has been high twist. So, we get one of each. We we each take one. So, um, yeah, we're, we're, like, so totally in love with them. Um, and it looks like y'all are too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've had everyone who has, um, responded to our... Anna's gonna go pick a yarn. <laughs> she, she forgot the giveaway at the other end of the table. So she is going to grab that real quick. Um, but we told y'all last time that... Um, we would be giving away something. We did not know at the time what we were going to be giving away. Um, it, I just and, gave my nod of approval. <laughs> um, and that all you had to do to enter for our giveaway was to leave us a comment. Yeah. Um, and we don't we, make y'all do all kinds of crazy crap. No. We just like y'all to talk to us. Yes. <laughs> um, and we love to respond. Come love, it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So, yeah, because we really we love enjoy, y'all so much. Uh, we really enjoy y'all commenting and, and being here with us. 
um, and talking to us. That's what we want. We yeah. want it to feel like you're just sitting here knitting with us. That I hope that's what it feels like because that's what we want you to feel like. Um, we have so much fun with y'all. I cannot even tell you how tickled we were of all the comments that y'all put on the last podcast. That's probably my favorite part of the podcast is all the comments and I love it. Um, I was at the beach when the last podcast came out and there were all these uh, comments coming in and um, it was so fun because I said to Scott, the podcast is up and look at all the comments. So that was, I, that made my day. I love it so writing. much. So, okay, here is the um, item that we decided on. So we absolutely love this yarn. Um, it love is it. the same base as our Yummy Plush. Mm -hmm. um, and so we brought it in because we already know that we love that base. It's a uh, 80, it's a 8515 uh, Merino Nylon, um, and it is from the company uh, Ancient Arts Yarns mm -hmm. out of uh, Canada. Mm -hmm. I don't remember where at in Canada. I want to say it was BC, but I... I feel so badly oh, it's about on the not back, on the remembering. It just oh, says, it just says died in Canada. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I feel bad for not remembering where in Canada they're located. Um, but they're also a very sweet hand dyer. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, very much. They so. are a pleasure to work with. Yes. And this was one of my favorite colors that we brought in. So I Jessica picked that color. Um, this. Well, yeah, because of its name. Yes. <laughs> I was gonna say this is my absolute favorite name. Um, which the name is Really Seriously Annoyed Grapes. I mean, it's a beautiful <laughs> purple variegated color. It's a lot of purple. It's a lot of shades of purple. I and absolutely some blue. love it. It's gorgeous. It's like a blue that leans purple. It, it, is, it is a blue based purple. Like a periwinkle. Mm -hmm. So that is what we decided on and the individual whose name came up for the win is Miss Rhonda Perry. So Miss Rhonda, if you are watching this video, please, 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 please send us an email to hello at arkansayarnco.com. We have a new email for y'all to email yes. us at. Um, send us pictures. We love to see pictures from y'all. Um, but we, we want you to send us an email to claim your giveaway prize. That way we know where to send it to. Yes. Um, we, we, we are so excited. We want to get it to you, but we got to have an address. Yes. And, um, do we, are we letting them, um, they have a little bit of time to claim it? Yes. Before it, does it go back to the giveaway pile if? No one claims it. So if nobody claims the prize, it does go back to the giveaway pile. Okay. So we want to make sure that you get it, Miss Rhonda. So give us an e uh, send us an email so we can get it out in the mail to you. We're excited that you won. Super excited about that. We are super excited. And if you enjoyed our podcast, please, 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 please tell your friends because at 500 subscribers we are giving away a sweaters quantity of hand dyed yarn in a colorway of your choosing just for you yes yes so if you don't already follow us hit the subscribe button that will give you a notification whenever we uh, post a video like this uh, we also do a wool on Wednesday to give you updates about the most current yarn in our shop um, amongst other things um, and we uh, eventually when I have some time to sit down and do it I will be recording some tutorial videos um, to show you ways that I do things with my knitting um, and then I've had a request for mm -hmm. a video on how to apply the color street nail polish so I will be doing a short upload video on how to do that as well um, here soon. Um, I have bare nails today. Um, 
because I took a set off and I've been meaning to put a new one on, so mm -hmm. I probably will record the video with the new set. Um, so that will be coming up really soon. Which I think the set you were going to put on is on the front counter. Uh, I think it's on the desk, but I don't know that I'm going to put that one on anymore. Yeah, that's always my problem, is I have too many <laughs> options. You do have a lot of options. It is a lot. She's got, like, all the nails, it seems like. So, mm -hmm. um, I will have those videos hopefully coming really soon. Um, so, uh, thanks for joining us today. Mm -hmm. um, if you could give our video a like, we would really appreciate it. Uh, that helps our video out a lot. Um, if you are new to our channel, please go check out our friends, uh, We Share Needles podcast on YouTube and Always Yarn First podcast on YouTube. Professor Pearl. Professor Pearl, uh, Knick Knack Knits. We've got a lot of podcast friends. Um, so we I do. will do some links below to their YouTube pages as well, um, as well as a link to our yarn shop. Uh, you are always welcome to order from us at any time. We do our absolute best to make sure it gets to you quickly. Um, we, we um, customer service is top priority here. So um, we love giving you a great shopping experience with us. We're different here. Come see how. Yes, and our yarn crawl is coming up. We have seven stores in the state of Arkansas that are participating with us yes. this year. Um, and there are some others along the way that are new. Yep. Um, so the yarn crawl is uh, July 15th mm -hmm. through the 23rd. That is a Friday through the following Saturday. So you have mm -hmm. two full weekends to come see us. We're going to have podcaster meetup. We're going to have in-store stitch time. We're going to have needle tasting. We're having trunk shows. We're having mini skein swap. We've got a lot of fun planned also. Don't forget we have our new patio, which I call mm -hmm. the courtyard, and it says patio. <laughs> but patio. I we say have, it has to have more plants to be a courtyard. But we have a beautiful outdoor <laughs> space that we've just installed for you. We're just waiting on you to come and enjoy it. We have umbrellas and sunscreen, and right now it's hot as six hells. But um, we sure would love to have you come and visit us. So I will have Lucas post a picture of the it's new patio. So gorgeous. Um, Anna took an amazing one. Um, if you don't follow <laughs> her on Instagram, she is Drea Bell Miss. Um, mm -hmm. And she posted a picture the other day of her enjoying some lunch on the patio. It's a beautiful picture. It was a beautiful moment. It was. <laughs> so good. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, y'all join us mm -hmm. on all the things. Okay, yes. and, and don't forget back. to vote Feeling Crabby, Crustacean in Love, or Feeling Crusty for next month's colorway by Anna and Jessa. Yes. <laughs> the darker side of pretty. <laughs> we are the darker side of pretty. Aww. Y'all calling me pretty? They're sweet. Yes. Thanks for joining us, y'all. We love it when you do. Uh, have a really great day, and we will talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.